Back with more Final Fantasy 16. Let's go. Back to the hideaway. Only the Founder knows what awaits us in the Iron Kingdom. But Vivian could probably make an educated guess. I didn't take you for a scholarly van. Oh, this? Well, it's Valisthea, a culinary pilgrimage. I borrowed it from old tomes. Seems there's no creature in the realm so foul it can't be cooked up into something delicious. <laughs> Think I'll stick to the unfoul ones, thanks. Oh, where's your sense of adventure, Sid? Honestly, one glance at these recipes, and even you would trade in your sword for a butcher's cleaver. From spit roasts to sweetmeats, this book has them all. <sighs> what I wouldn't give to bring these recipes to life. If it's my blessing you're hoping for, then by all means. Well, but you're... Sir. Fat! Sir. The only... A beast! Does the book... Well, Rose... One of them. How did we never there are hear new billets being posted every Clive! Oh, am I glad to see you? Is something wrong? It's Blackthorn. He ain't himself. And if I'm honest, he ain't been for a while. Yet normally it only takes a couple of drinks to perk him back up, but not this time. Something's it's like he but I'm fi Fine. But if it Alright now, wait a Monsters taking quite a liking to Lady Cameron. First August, and now you. What are you pair up to? What's it got to do with me? August was worried that something had been weighing on your mind. I thought you might want to talk about it. <laughs> Did you now? I told you not to stick your nose in my business. What'd you go and do? Clive just wants to help, innit? What's so bad about that? Talk to him. You never know, you might feel better for getting it all out in the open. Please, mate. I'm worried about you. <sighs> Phil shut you up. It's nothing, really. Stupid. Not the sort of thing you bother people about. Why don't you tell us all the same? Karen and I have an arrangement. I keep an eye on Goots, and she shows me what the competition's up to. Interesting arms and armor, things like that. Anyway, the other day, she shows me a cuirass she's come by. Masterpiece of level work. Light, supple, and tougher than it had any right to be. <sighs> Made my stuff look like every clumsy shit. Should have brought the bastard thing there and then just to study it, but I was too proud. And now if there, you... All right. I always thought of old Blackthorn as a bit of a force of nature. Like a storm cloud full of eight. Black something if he... I couldn't... He said, assume too glad to... Karen, do you have a moment? Blackthorn mentioned that you'd recently come by a leather cuirass. An exquisite example of the craft, from what he told us. And he ain't been himself since he saw it. So we thought we'd buy it for him. Sorry, sold it already. 
Didn't think Blackthorn cared for it the way he turned his nose up. But it was nicely put together, that's for certain. Even if the bloke who made it is a bit of an odd one. Happened across him on my travels. Makes all his stuff to order, but the fella who commissioned it refused to pay. He didn't like the colour of summit. So I took it off his hands for a fair price. You don't know where we might find him, do you? Like I said, he's a bit of an odd one. Doesn't even have a workshop. He doesn't trust hunters, neither, which means he spends as much time out tracking beasties as he does working the rides. I see. He did tell me something, though. Apparently, his next commission's for a set of griffin hide greaves. Here, there's a griffin on the hut now. Thank you, Ken. Alan. So, it's a Alan. Well, good idea.
Good day. To you. See. <gasps> the crystals we get from the tailor all. Don't exactly make for easy prey. Let's hope our craftsman hasn't bitten off more than he can chew.
Something there, boy. Could that be our man? I say I'll survive. That griffin caught me before I could get an arrow off. Must have lost sight of me in the grass, though. I'd be dead if it hadn't. More likely than not. The name's Camille. I'm a lowly leather worker, if you couldn't tell by the smell of me. Not so lowly from what I hear. Do you remember selling to a merchant by the name of Karen? <laughs> She's not an easy woman to forget. Bought a caress from me after I lost my buyer. Quite taken with my work, as far as I recall. Didn't stop her bartering me down to a pittance, though. <laughs> she sent you for a refund? It's not her who sent me. Well, consider me flattered. You should be. He's a master of his art, and not an easy man to impress. Blacksmiths are proud folk. It's a rare thing indeed for one to praise a glorified tanner. And I don't imagine an impressive swordsman like yourself would be getting your steel from any but the best. I'd dearly love to help a fellow craftsman, but... Well, actually, I suppose you could give him this. What is it? Treated leather. Same stuff I used to make that caress. 
If your man's as skilled as he sounds, he'll know what he's looking at. You sure? Well, you did save my life. And thanks to you, I'll be going home with all the griffin hide I can carry. I'd say it's the least I can do. Short of showing him how to make the thing myself, that is. But there are rules against it. Secrets of the trade and whatnot. In that case, I'll see that he gets it. I'd be much obliged if you would. Right. I've got some griefs to make. You send your blacksmith my regards. Will do. And thank you. Hopefully this will sweeten Blackthorn's mood. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Ah, oh, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can I do you for? Unwanted violets, if you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. <laughs> Boy, I haven't heard folk call them your look, Mr. And even if do the I do. Thank you. Sharp. After what the Empire did to Martha's not right. Don't you go causing any trouble now. Ready, go. Faster. Did you find our mystery ingredient? I did indeed. Marvellous! Let's see. <gasps> what am I supposed to do with this? 
It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. <laughs> Into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. I present Chance's Stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm, uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late. Salt on the senses, it's like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency there rise complex, meaty notes. It it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavours, but never have I tasted anything so fine. Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're uh, welcome. I must share this gift. I won't rest until a steam a sick I'm That monster's taken quite a liking to Lady. And with a bit of luck. How'd it go, Clive? Did you find him, or does the hunt continue? I found him. And he asked me to give you this, along with his regards. You're joking. He said he wouldn't teach you how to work it, but that if you were as skilled as you sounded, you'd have no trouble understanding how it was done. Uh, so that's his secret. Crafty bastard. He's layered and cross-grained it. Good few times, too. No wonder it's tough. And that's no ordinary oil he's used to get that finish. Oh, this is fine work. Even finer than I thought. Yeah? I'll take your word for it. Just looks like leather to me. Still, I'm glad you're happy. Here, Clive, you didn't happen to catch the fella's name, did you? Camille, I believe. I thought as much. There ain't many left turns out, but I'll... Tell me better. Still. That was Clive. That's good. Just don't there's an empire. Anyway. Looks like we won't be needing a new black. As if there was an hour. All right, Frank. and I'll think about it. Alright, well, like I got some uh, hunting to do. So I'm about to find some Electrum Love so it. I can get this crafted. Fun. And uh, I'll catch you in the next part. Thank you for watching. Peace.